leveraging analytics to understand what are the behaviors, what are the what's really at the root of why agents do what they do. Well, you know, we train them, we coach them, um, and historically we've been focused on analytics in the in the context of the result or the KPI. So we sort of work backwards and say, well, here's the KPI, and then we analyze the data, and here's our outlier group, et cetera. Um, but we wanted to take it another step further and say, okay, well, we understand that this is the group that we need to look at, but why are they doing what they're doing? Why didn't the training work? Or why why are their behaviors different than the other the other segments of, of the agent population? One of the, our biggest challenges has been for years from a customer experience standpoint is inconsistency. And we also found from an Asian experience, there's a significant amount of inconsistency in how they're being coached. So we're, we've been building a model to really focus on the behavior, but a key piece of that is a different perspective on analyzing the data to the point where we're actually analyzing it down to the behavior level. We've got to get to understanding the agent and building an environment where they can be honest and 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 there's a trust there between them and their supervisor or leader to be able to uh, to figure out what's really kind of making them tick so that we can make the necessary changes. We've seen strong and consistent growth in our customer experience. And in, in a time where there was so much upheaval, we were able to maintain and even grow our our, our voice of the customer satisfaction index. So it, it certainly has proven out to work, but it is, uh, it is also a significant effort. Mm-hmm.